as someone who is a physicist but also thinks in more philosophical terms, what exists is not only physical. If you want to say what exists, it is a big mistake to say that only physical things exist. And so um, what is an we do not be intimidated by reductionists into agreeing that it's only particles and forces that exist, because that isn't true. Um, ideas exist. And so, all right, you may say this involves the brain and it's a complex thing. So instead, let me say the following example, algorithms exist. And an algorithm is a procedure which is used in computers in order to create things. For instance, most of the motor cars that you drive around in today are created in factories because an algorithm is there directing what happens in the factory. And that is the reason that the um, motor car exists. And now, what is an algorithm made of? Is it made of wood or concrete or particles of some kind? The answer is, an algorithm is an abstract entity. It is realized in various ways in these computers and then through that realization it causes motor cars to come into existence because they wouldn't exist if it wasn't for the algorithm. But the algorithm itself is an abstract entity. So if you want to describe why things exist, not only do you have to think about why particles exist and forces exist, you've also got to think about why abstract entities exist. And I can give you many other examples, but my concrete immediate example is algorithms, which undoubtedly exist. They undoubtedly have causal power in the real world as it exists today. For more debates, talks and interviews, subscribe today to the Institute of Art and Ideas at IAI-TV.